one of the key things that we're starting to see in rectal cancer, um, especially over the last five years, has been, I think, two things. One has been the transition um, from doing some therapy after surgery to moving most of that therapy before surgical resection or surgical consideration. So this is called total neoadjuvant therapy. Um, so we're seeing a lot of trials emerging where this has been shown to be beneficial. And that seems to be the way that practice is, is moving as well. I think the other key thing that's happening in rectal cancer is this idea of non-operative management or organ preservation. Um, so we've seen that with some of the data out of the OPERA trial and the OPRA trial, OPRA trial um, from Memorial Sloan Kettering. And so I think that those are kind of the key considerations that, that we think about is moving the therapy all up front for total neoadjuvant therapy. And then the secondary part of that is how do we get more patients to the point where they have a clinical complete response and then maybe candidates for organ preservation. So not having to have a, you know, a life altering surgical resection, particularly if that's a surgical resection uh, that requires a permanent ostomy.